the chairman of the corporation has been uh, right now uh, uh, endured uh, right now reached in the uh, hospital uh, and many officials has been uh, coming to the uh, hospital as well and uh, the security has been uh, uh, given by the police uh, also one more thing the na has been right now checking the situation right now the investigation is still going on so we can't confirm that it is a clear terrorist attack or not know about the current situation of the people do we have an exact number of the people who got injured there in these blasts What's the condition right now, sir? No, 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 no. What's the condition right now? Just getting the... Nandakumar, can you hear me? Sure, sure, sure. Nothing to speak of now. Nothing. Let us get the details. Yes, sir. Let us get the details. Okay, okay, okay. This is not the time to say anything. Okay. Let us gather information. Okay, fine. Then only we will see. Is the member of GCD saying that? Uh, sorry, the chairman of the GCD is saying that he is uh, right now here to gather the information. That's why he is here and he is entering to the hospital to see the uh, 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 the injured people right now. The hospital we can see that uh, many uh, government officials has been uh, entering uh, into the hospital to uh, just to know the situations. They are they don't know. They are all they are all uh, just uh, uh, they sh uh, shocked here right now because of the situations uh, because uh, at the place. Like Kerala, we can't uh, even think a situation like that as a bomb blast or in a, in a suntage in a church. So uh, that's why uh, everyone is shocked. They are not uh, ready to give the responses as well. So uh, here, right now, the situation is very right under control. Right, and what is the word coming in uh, from the ACP also? Because we are learning that the investigation is currently underway. What are the latest development we do have uh, over there as far as the initial assessment is concerned? Because what we are learning is that it is a terrorist attack. What do we have on that, uh, Nandakumar? Most patients will look. Yes, initial uh, investigation is still going on and uh, the most important thing is they are confirming, they are right now confirming the media person's right. It's a clear terrorist attack. There is no evidence of a sh short circuit or any other uh, major blast. It's uh, clearly it's a uh, uh, bomb blast has been happened right now uh, in Kerala. Though. And also the most important thing is... Uh, the NA uh, persons, the NA officials has been right now in the spot. That's why uh, they are not confirming uh, right in front of the mic also. Uh, and most important thing, they are saying that it is like a terrorist attack. More than 20, uh, 2,500 uh, people have been gathered in the Genova Convention Centre in the Sunday. And uh, uh, the uh, explosions took place in the middle of that gathering. More than uh, three explosions has been happened in the 5 to 10 seconds gap. And that's the most important thing. It is... Uh, uh, they can't even confirm, even if it's a, a major a bomb blast or something. They can't. They are not confirming right now officially, but they are uh, unofficially saying right, that. Right, Kumar, a uh, I apologize to interrupt you over there. We have uh, Arnakulam MP Hebe Aden joining us on the phone line, sir. Uh, what latest updates do you have about these blasts? We are suspecting, uh, Intel sources have told CNN News 18 that there is a terrorist attack that is being suspected in this entire saga that has happened. What do you have to say on that? No, I'm not anybody to come in right now on that authentically. But uh, after the incident happened around 9.30, I uh, reached here by like 10.30. Uh, we understand that uh, this was a regional conference of the uh, who was actually a group of uh, um, religious people who gathered for the last three days and around 2000 people were assembled in the last day of the convention and while they were closing their eyes and they were giving their prayers in the mid of the hall there was an explosion and um, uh, one person died on the spot six are uh, in the ICU many are injured they are in two different hospitals in Kalamashari government medical college and a private hospital called Sunrise. So our efforts, our priority right now is to save as much as lives as possible. And we have instructed the Indian Medical Association and the team to be present 
uh, at the Kalamashiri Medical College for all the assistants and including the private hospitals for all the assistants. That's priority right now. Anything leading to this, who is behind this, what exactly happened, everything uh, should be under detailed investigation unless and until the NIA, the police, the fingerprint bureau, the dog squads, uh, the, uh, all the other major uh, um, organizations related to the inquiry have been on the spot and they have been uh, very thoroughly examining the place. Right, and sir, what we are also learning is about the word coming in from uh, Kerala Chief Minister also. He is saying that uh, he is uh, currently, at the moment, currently all the details about it. So, a gathering of almost 2,000 people at one place and such grave uh, accident happening there. What does that, in fact, tell us about the security of that particular area? No, it is not about the security. Uh, this is a hall given for rent and usually all the marriages or conventions that uh, happen here. It is like a private hall where many of us, as in the past, have attended many marriages and conferences and exhibitions. So it was quite an unfortunate incident. And uh, as I said, the entire team of uh, police, including the, the the detailed investigation exam team, including the forensic, uh, the fingerprint bureau, bomb squad, etc., NIA, etc., are on the team. They are on the job. So it is too early to comment on anything uh, what exactly happened. This, these, these are information uh, who people who took part in the convention and these are information friends of mine who gathered in the assembly. They are the people who gave us the first hand information regarding this. Right. Right. Thank you so much for speaking to CNN News 18 and bringing your perspective across. Right now we have some big breaking news coming in. This is a move made by central government. Now Union Home Minister uh, Amit Shah has actually spoken to Kerala CM. NSG and NIA teams are being sent from Delhi to Kerala over this incident that has happened there, a very shocking one. In fact, we have CNN News 18's Arunima back with us on the broadcast. Arunima, what more details do we have about NSG and NIA teams being deployed from Delhi to Kerala? Home Minister speaking to the Kerala Chief Minister is significant because it just tells you how seriously the situation is being treated. Uh, these are serial bomb blasts that we are talking about. Home Minister has taken uh, note about uh, the, the situation there. The Chief Minister has briefed him about the information that is currently available. And whatever help is required in the investigation, I think both the Chief Minister and the Home Minister are on the same page as far as uh, that is concerned. Uh, the NIA team that was uh, there in Kerala is already on ground uh, as part of the standard operating procedure. But the second team led by a senior officer is being uh, dispatched from Delhi as well. The NSG has a specialized uh, bomb detection squad as well. Uh, they have the bomb data center. Uh, so they are, they are a specialized unit which is also being dispatched so that they can analyze the scene of crime, pick up evidence uh, from the ground and, and come to a conclusion as to who's really behind uh, uh, these serial blasts that have happened. Uh, they should be reaching ASAP. Right. Also, we are understanding the word that is coming in from Kerala Chief Minister as well. Arunima, could you just walk us through that as well? The Kerala Chief Minister has, uh, you know, dispatched the DGP also to, uh, you know, scene of crime uh, to ground zero. Uh, 500 to 600 police officers, uh, policemen have been sent there. This is, this is a huge congregation that we're talking about. A uh, rough estimate seems to suggest that there could be 4,000 people inside uh, that, that convention center. Uh, the sense that I get is, is it was more like a banquet hall uh, where uh, a series of explosions happened. Police officially confirming two. Two blasts officially being confirmed within a span of five to ten seconds. But eyewitness accounts seem to suggest that they heard at least three more explosions. So a total of five is what some eyewitnesses have told the investigators. It is being probed. Um, there, there seemed to be some incendiary device also which was involved in this uh, because you can see the visuals that came in. A fire uh, started uh, after the explosions happened. Uh, one person dead, um, suspected to be the body of a woman that has been recovered. Uh, there are people who are critical. Twenty seconds. I've seen it. Uh, at least six being rushed to the ICU is what uh, the local member of parliament has uh, confirmed. So the chief minister is working in tandem with his local officials as well as the center. Uh, but currently, the focus is first to ensure that medical aid is made available to people who require it, and then to sanitize the area. Uh, so that so that there are no more, uh, you know, why this is important is because in the past we have seen in serial blasts there are unexploded devices also kept. So sanitizing the area is very important to ensure that uh, nothing untoward happens from here on. Right, Arunima, we also want to understand from you the kind of explosion that took place there. What was the nature of the explosion as you are uh, saying that it was an EED blast? What exactly was that? 
nuclear explosive device, the IED, that, that's what, uh, you know, bombs these days are. They're all improvised explosive devices. But we don't really know what is the kind of explosive